Hi guys, it's Archul Mano. How's everyone doing? Good, good, good. I hope this review is a little bit off the cuff. I have tried Chameleon more than 10 times now, but I've decided to review it now because the time felt right. So this is one of the two latest fragrances to come from Zoologist. I harp on about them all the time. I make no bones about the fact that they are my favourite um, niche perfume house at the moment. I'm probably going to be for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I've reviewed Dodo recently, they've released two at the same time, Chameleon and Dodo, A Tale of Two Islands, Madagascar and Mauritius. Today we are talking about Madagascar. And firstly, thank you Victor for being so generous and kind to gift me this. You know I love your fragrances. Ah, I reviewed Dodo first, uh, and to be totally honest, I reviewed it first because I felt like it was the more zoologist of the two. This one, I will start by saying, is easily the most approachable fragrance to come from Zoologist thus far. Every Zoologist fragrance has just that bit of something that's a bit, ooh, I've never tried that before. Chameleon is approachable and the most wearable one of the bunch. So let me show you the packaging. I have to make sure that it's in front of my body so it doesn't disappear into the green screen. The life and trying times of a YouTuber with a green screen. So it looks like this. They have chosen to do a reflective label this time. As always, Zoologist packaging is absolutely beautiful. It has the story at the side, which I'll read you in a second. And the man himself is here. He's a tropical dude. He's wearing a cool Hawaiian shirt, or Madagascan shirt in this case. And everything's reflective because, you know, chameleons change color and I need to clean my bottle. I have fiddled around with it far too much. So let me read you the story. I always do zoologists paint a great picture of the inspiration, what it's about. So we're talking about Madagascar this time. So it says, like the luminescent skin of a reptile, fiery scales of sunlight ripple across the surface of the Indian Ocean, fading slowly to gold, and finally sapphire as the sun sinks and disappears. The sea exhales in its gentle tide, caressing the beach of an island paradise. I would love to go to Madagascar. The, uh, la, 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 la. the salty breath combines with the narcotic aromas of the ylang and frangipani trees in an intimate kiss, sending shivers through the branches. Something stirs, an eye pivots, a tail grips a slender bough. Will the creature vanish among the leaves or flirt with a daring display of colour? No one knows. The secrets that lie beneath the skin of the chameleon keep Madagascar guessing. And then it describes how the fragrance, what's in it and all of that. Uh, but I'm going to give you my take because it's my review. So, the notes. This one's got a really extensive note list, and I will say that compared to Dodo, Dodo has much less of a note list, but it felt more complex. Um, this one feels a lot more simple and manageable. So the perfumer is Daniel Peschio as well. Daniel, if you watch this, I'm sure we've communicated on some level in the past. Possibly when you worked for Frederick Mao, I'm not sure. It was years ago, my last job. Anyway, top notes. Bergamot, lemon, Madagascar, ylang ylang, which is the star of the show in this fragrance. It's what everything revolves around. It is what all of the other notes come up and have to serve it, basically. They just add to it, but ylang ylang is the main biatch. Then there's mango, pink pepper, starfruit, and violet leaves. The heart notes are cashmeran, clove, coconut, frangipani, jasmine, saffron, salty skin accord, and sea breeze. Base notes are amber, woods, musks, apopanax, which is sweetened myrrh, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, and vetiver. So, I wanted that to be way more effective and it failed. So here he is, beautiful, beautiful chameleon. So how does it smell? Some of you might know that I have been searching for the perfect Ylang Ylang fragrance for a long time. I've been trying to find a Ylang Ylang fragrance that actually smells of Ylang Ylang, that smells like the actual essential oil that I love and are so am obsessed with that I got when I did my perfume course. I wanted a fragrance that had that, and I've been searching for a while. And then along comes Chameleon. Yay. So like I said, Ylang Ylang is the main thing here, and if you don't know what Ylang Ylang smells like, it is a beautiful, smooth floral note. It's a yellow flower, sometimes white possibly, I'm not sure. It's yellow in all the pictures I've seen. I've never smelled a real one. It has a slight medicinal feeling. It's buttery, it's creamy. It almost sometimes feels a bit woody. And as far as I know, it, mu it must be quite hard to 
it doesn't stand on its own in a fragrance. It needs support. So that's kind of what this fragrance is. It's Ylang Ylang. And the supporting notes that I can smell here are, I can only really smell about five things here, which is a shame. I wish I could smell more, but it's fine how it is for me. You can definitely feel frangipani just backing it up. It doesn't feel like it smells of frangipani, but the frangipani is adding to the tropical floralness of this. I can definitely feel coconut as well. And the coconut in this is totally different to the coconut that you find in Elephant. The coconut in Elephant was more, in my head, like a coconut husk kind of smell. This is more like coconut milk. It's creamy, it's dreamy, it's adding again, it's supporting the ylang ylang but never overtaking. It's more like floating around in the background kind of coconut. It's not an overpowering, horrible, cheap coconut that you get in a lot of fragrances nowadays. I can also smell that salty effect that has this salty skin accord in it and I can definitely feel that here so it feels a little bit beachy, it feels a little bit breezy and then the last thing I can really smell is sandalwood, a really creamy, buttery, dreamy sandalwood which again is just adding to the whole effect of this smooth, beautiful, tropical floral fragrance. It is ylang ylang heaven at first. It is whoop, ylang ylang fireworks going everywhere. I'm going to some crazy beautiful island and getting this lovely wave of just smooth yellow tropical flowers and it's, it's so so beautiful. One of the negatives which I'll touch on again is the note list had all of this other stuff which on paper sounded like it was going to be an explosion of stuff and whenever you read a zoologist note list I'm always guessing, I'm thinking what is, what's going to be jumping out, what's going to happen, how's it going to transition and really for me it's these five things and that is why I say it's their most approachable, it's the most wearable unless of course you don't like your Lang Ylang, you're probably not going to like this because it is the star of the show but it's wearable, it's easily spritzonable, made up a new word there, how do you like that one? And it's totally inoffensive and I will say, like I said about Dodo, it's, it's a big change of pace from T-Rex which is great. It's come out at the perfect time for me in our part of the world, it's going into spring summer. I have tried this on warmer days, I've tried it on cooler days and I will say it does work better when it's warm. So something to note. So about the development. This is where I feel a little bit iffy about the fragrance, there's no denying that it's absolutely beautiful but this fragrance, the projection of it and the sillage that you get when you first spray it is great but then it does become most definitely the quietest and most demure and subtle zoologist fragrance in the entire line. Don't get me wrong, the longevity is incredible. This lasted on me for a full 24 hours on a wrist, through a shower, I went to work the next day and I could still smell it on my wrist. However, the, what's the word I'm looking for? the volume gets turned way down quite quickly. So I think I would have been in love with this a whole bunch more if it was more fireworks for a long time. But I do applaud Zoologist for making a fragrance that, you know, not everybody wants things that are loud all the time. Some people want something that's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more dainty and demure, and that's where this goes. It does go there quite quickly though. What happens when it dries is the creaminess ramps up. The Ylang Ylang is always at the forefront no matter what day it is, what weather it is, what, when I've tried it, how much I've sprayed. Ylang Ylang is always there. But it kind of melts into the sandalwood on the dry down. I would have loved to have smelled mango and pepper and all of these other things, but I'm happy with how it is. I, I'm fine. The sandalwood is great in this. The sandalwood is the undercurrent of the entire fragrance. So Ylang Ylang here, resting on the top of the waves, coconut is here just below the surface and then you have sandalwood propping everything up and I guess it's kind of like the ocean floor. It's never going to go away, never going to be anywhere else. The tides might come and go but the bottom floor sandy bit will always be there. <laughs> I tried a metaphor and it messed up but you get what I mean right? So to put it into perspective Instead of this being a chameleon that changes colour and is psychedelic and is all over the place, this is more the chameleon acting in a way of blending in with its surroundings. And by its surroundings I mean your skin and your persona and your aura. 
<laughs> I do come out with some crap, don't I? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Massive longevity. Siaj is very, very, very quiet. But if you want to dump, jump into the zoologist line and are too scared to try something like bat or rhino or T-Rex, this would be a really good first one for you, especially if you live in a hot country and love those beautiful tropical floral fragrances. I certainly love it and it's on my shelf now, ready for spring and summer. I'm going to be wearing it a whole bunch. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm out from my know, trying to make the world smell better one video at a time. Goodbye.